Hi everyone, it's Jeanette Oakman. Today we're going to create a wish. We all love wishes, don't we? And to create this, I'm going to be using um, Windsor & Newton um, Art Masking Fluid, Brusho paints, but you could use any paints really. As you can see here, I've just got a lid off a jar and I'm just going to draw around it, circle. Um, Don't worry about the pencil marks because you won't see them afterwards. I'm going to have to put another one in down there, I think. Now, uh, when creating this, we're going to be using art masking fluid. Um, you want to use a really cheap old paintbrush for this because, you know, uh, it's not very good on the old paintbrushes, so don't use one of your proper ones. And be very careful, because I actually knocked the bottle over while I was creating this. So um, do be careful where you put your bottle, because it, it does smell a bit. Now, as you can see here, um, I know you can't see very well at the moment, but don't over worry about that. Um, I'm just applying dots at the moment. Um, I'm starting off going around the um, circumference of the circle. Um, and then I'm working inwards. Now you can do this using um, wax resistance crown as well, this part. But when I tried to do that, um, it was not very successful. Uh, so you, it really is better to do this using the art masking fluid if you can. There's many different makes out there on the market. As you can see now, I'm just putting lots of dots around the other circle as well and inside and um, the good thing about this is as well with the wax resist crown you can't actually see where you've actually um, applied it on white paper but the masking fluid actually has a yellow tinge to it so you can actually see where it is but you really do need to um, let it dry as you can see here I've just got some dots I'm putting up to see where the wind's blowing the wishes. Um, but I say you really need to make sure it dry properly. I should have left it to dry a little bit longer than what I did really on this example. Um, but you know, I'd never created one like this before using masking fluid, so you know, it's all new. Um, but okay, something's gone wrong there. Hang on a minute. Here you can see um, I'm actually sprinkling on some brush of paint. Um, you can use any paints really, um, but in this example I've actually used brush of paints which is a form of watercolour paint. It's um, very fine crystals, it's like a little you know, bit of dust. So um, I'm using purple, ultramarine and turquoise in this example. And you literally just um, sprinkle it on. And, um, you know, it's up to you as to how much you use, what colours you use. Well, I, I wanted to have quite um, vibrant colours so that the um, white would show up more. And um, here I've got a, bo a bottle, a spritzer bottle, and I'm just spritzing on some water. Um, as you can see, it's, it's fantastic the way it, it reacts. Um, this is twice the normal speed, um, what you're actually seeing at the moment. Um, so then I, I get another bottle and I've added some more water, as you can see here. Um, it's very satisfying as an artist when you're, <laughs> when you're using these um, brush -o paints. I absolutely love them. Um, they inspire you to want you to do more. I love watching the way that they all react with each other. So as you can see, I'm paying absolutely no attention whatsoever as to um, where I've put all my um, art masking fluid. I'm just concentrating on the colours here. Um, what I would say is, if you're using other paints, um, is to be very careful when you're brushing, because I don't know, you know, um, how much you can brush the um paintbrush over the top without dislodging the masking fluid but i would have thought you could do it quite a bit 
And as you can see here, I'm just manipulating the paint to try and get it all to mix in a little bit better. Um, and now I've picked up a fan brush, my, my dome of fan brush is here, and I, I'm just having some fun, um, spreading it all around a little bit, giving a good mix up, because I don't want to have any white bits underneath, um, because that would defeat the object of having the masking fluid on. I'm just bringing it to the edges of where the uh, masking fluid, uh, the masking tape is, and uh, that's a painting on its own, isn't it? <laughs> I love all the different way things it works, and the great thing is with the brush of paints as well is, as you'll see in a minute. Um, you know, after you've done all that, it's still wet, so you could you could um, sprinkle some more colour on. Um, and even if it's dried, you, you can sprinkle some more colour on and then, you know, just spritz it again. But here I decided, you know what, I think I might I'll just put a little bit of scarlet on every now and again. Um, just to see if it, what difference that would make. Now comes the hard part. You have to walk away and leave it. I personally left it to dry overnight because you really need it to dry. And you can see how, um, you know, the paper's flattened out again as well now. And then in the morning you get up and you have this great fun where um, just rub your finger gently on the masking fl fluid and um, it comes off. Um, you remember the old days when you was a kid and you used to have that glue and it used to stick to your fingers? <laughs> it's a little bit like that. So just gently rub it. It comes off very easily when you rub it. Um, and you just keep on going until it's all come off. And um, it's abso absolutely marvellous as to what you can do with this masking fluid. Um, I personally am very pleased with how it worked out. As I say, I've used, I've used Windsor & Newton, but you know there are many more makes out there that you can use. Um, but uh, I was very pleased with, with how it came. Um, it's looking a lot paler here than what it actually is in real life. Um, so when you see the next picture, you'll actually see it as to how it, it really is. That's the nearest I could get to how it actually did come out. You see it's a lot brighter. Um, it's not a per perfect work of art, but you know what? I had a lot of fun creating it, and I know that I will try this technique again to see what else I can do, you know? So thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Bye.